Hello, I'm Matt Schwartz with the Worksite Wellness Council of Louisville. We just uh, finished a program related to JCPS and how it can uh, maybe help inform some of our work sites. And it's the uh, Health Promotion Schools of Excellence program, HPSE. And uh, let's see, we've got uh, Craig Hammond and uh, Ann Perryman and our Lisa Brown, who all uh, just did, did a program for us. So just a couple of questions. So first, what, what is the HPSC program? Um, well, the HPSC program is a coordinated school health program that we implement in um, 42 schools in JCPS. And um, there are 10 components of that program, and um, they are, y'all help me out, um, there's health services, there is, um, there is physical education physical activity. and physical activity, health education. Um, we also have counseling, psychological and social services, social and emotional, social and emotional climate, employee wellness, family and community involvement, and what else are we doing? Nutrition. Nutrition services. And um, so we have those 10 components of um, coordinated school health within our JCPS schools. Excellent. And, you know, from the time that, that uh, some of the things that you shared, I mean, what would be your biggest takeaway to an, uh, you know, to an employer for the types of things that you'll do? Because you're doing a, a wide range of programs through the schools. Well, I think one of the things that's really important is um, that within our schools, um, if we're going to impact student learning, we really have to have healthy employees. And um, we have to have healthy students, and we have to have healthy schools, and we have to have a healthy community to impact student learning and, um, and employees. Wellness is a big, a big part of that because our, um, if our teachers and our staff aren't healthy and doing well, then they're not going to be as effective helping our students. So that relates perfectly to business because we talk about having uh, healthy employees. They, that's, they're the ones that are delivering to customers. So, um, all right. So Craig, you talked about you, you said the biggest success was the cross country. So you know, and what struck me is you talked about uh, at least a school or two that had uh, maybe a fifth of the students that participated. So tell me, you know, what, what's what's the takeaway from that? You know, what, what, how'd you all succeed with that type of a program? I think uh, trying to get kids involved in physical activity, it's harder with the, with the new generation of technology. People want to be using technology. Uh, but I was surprised myself on how many kids would actually partake in running programs. And uh, we now have about 17, 18 schools. They have anywhere from 35 to 100 kids on a team, depending on how many coaches they were able to uh, get to help. Uh, excited about the all-inclusiveness of the sport. You don't have to be gifted. You don't have to, to make the team as long as you're willing to run. Uh, that's expanded on not only us having meets for those schools, but there are other meets out there for them to get involved in, along with uh, some of them just expanded to girls on the run program. There's also Run Mobile Run, Triple Crown uh, races, where the YMCA is part of the Triple Crown along with us, just getting more kids involved. And I think the younger you start them, the more it becomes a life, life changer for the rest of their lives. Right, well, which actually strikes me because, again, talking about just inclusiveness, because that's one of the struggles that employers have is not everybody's a marathon runner like you. You, you know, I would be if my knee wasn't uh, faulty, but. I'm not either, but but you can go out and run a distance. Right. And that's really what we encourage. We keep our distances usually at about a mile. Uh, kids can, and of course, as you know, there's plenty, there's 5Ks, there's 10Ks, Right, 10 miles, or, you know, you can find your niche, and that's what we try to really get with the coaches to really emphasize to the kids, find your niche where you like to, what kind of distance you like to run. Right. Well, again, I mean, that's a, that's a takeaway to schools and, and uh, you know, employers, same thing, not everybody can do everything. So, all right, or Lisa, you talked uh, more about what uh, you all are doing, probably from a wellness and an employee standpoint. So, what, what are the things, that, I mean, what, what, do you, what would you say you're proud of that JCPS does? I'm very proud of the fact that JCPS has decided that we can all work as a team and be collaborative in our efforts to not only support wellness for our students, but wellness for staff. So, we're not only looking at their physical health and wellness, but mental health and wellness. So, I'm excited about that opportunity and having the opportunity, as, as Michelle Obama said, let's move. And it doesn't matter if you have an ability or if you're physically challenged, everybody is, has the opportunity to get moving in whatever way they can. So, I'm very proud of that and our partnerships with our community partners, whether it be Coats 
Rosaire, the YMCA, our Humana, as well as Anthem, just all of us working together as a team to improve wellness. And that, actually, that is one thing that struck me, because you had, you had programs that you talked about from the Heart Association, Lung Association, YMCA, so you all really have tapped into a lot of other resources. You didn't yes. create everything on your own. No. Yeah. The Kentucky Cancer Program, good at addressing Blue Day, yes. cancer awareness, yeah. right? A lot of a lot of cancer awareness. Anything you can do to enlighten people and to uh, minimize childhood obesity, but also minimize the adult obesity. So we're all working together to try to get better. Right. Well, it's a great conversation. You know, the one thing that we also talked about was. Uh, you know, that, that obviously a lot of people have kids in JCPS, there are some things that come home with their kids, and so, you know, as an employer, uh, certainly you ought to be thinking about uh, what are your kids seeing and how might you integrate, and uh, they may look at into the program. So what's the website, where would they go to look at 